In Baton Rouge today, the Central Louisiana Regional Chamber of Commerce's Senla Day at the Legislature. Melina Noakes was there and has more. A potentially big investment is on the way for LSUA with Governor John Bell Edwards' support. But even with the governor's support, it could meet some roadblocks with the state's spending cap. Because of the, the growth in the economy and quite frankly because of some stimulus that came because of COVID, we have record amounts of one-time money. That one-time money is something lawmakers and the governor are looking to spend. But they need a two-thirds vote from both chambers to make it happen. It'll probably be in this session the most important vote. And it will have nothing to do with all of the stuff that gets in the bill. So you may have your stuff in the bill, but you may not be able to get it. That vote would burst through the state's spending cap. And speaking to Central Louisiana business and industry leaders, Senate President Paige Cortez seems pretty set on making the most of the influx of money this session. Why would I let you send me all your taxpayer dollars and we have an opportunity to give you back services or products, but decide to put it in a savings account instead? But that's not how all lawmakers feel about it. The week before session started, all central Louisiana lawmakers I spoke to about potentially bursting through the spending cap seem wary of doing so or completely against the idea. But will some of the capital outlay for Sin Law change their opinions? It, it really is good news to know that more projects than usual are um, in the bill for north of I-10, including for our region. One of those projects, a new health care facility for LSUA in downtown Alexandria to fill the gap in health care shortages. It will require $35 million in capital outlay funds, and it's something that the governor is fully backing. It's a critically needed project. It's not hard to explain why we're doing this, but it's to get the funding to get it off the ground, and that, this first step is just an amazing step with the governor putting it in his budget. The legislative session runs through June, so we'll have to wait and see whether Central Louisiana lawmakers change their tune on the spending cap. For News Channel 5, I'm Alina Noakes.